It's confirmed that Cassian Andor's backstory has been changed for the Disney Plus series. Who are you? Let's talk about how and why. September 8 was Disney Plus Day and along with a bunch of other Star Wars news updates we were given a sneak peek of the Andor series. The 5 minute clip included Cassian meeting Luthen Rail for the first time. Cassian's in possession of stolen Imperial merch that Luthen is looking to purchase. But he also offers Andor an offer to do more damage to the Empire as part of a rebellion. When meeting with Andor, Luthen has clearly done his research on the thief. And this line about Cassian's father might pique your interest. You don't want to get caught with it. Well, they'd hang me, wouldn't they? Take me out Briggs Road and hang me in the square. Wouldn't be the first time, would it? Isn't that where they hung your father? And that's interesting because that's not how it went down in established canon. If we take a trip to the archives and crack open the Rogue One Ultimate Visual Guide, we can read all about Cassian's father's fate, and the fact that his father was killed at the Corita Military Academy during a protest against the expansion of Republic militarism. So unless the clones were the ones to hang Cassian's father, then Cassian's origins have been retconned for the show. The entry in the visual guide also says that Cassian Andor had been fighting the Republic since he was a child. Andor became part of a separatist-backed insurrectionist cell at a young age, one which operated in the Outer Rim territories. In the time of the Empire, the visual guide says that Andor was drawn into anarchist movements before eventually being recruited by General Draven into the growing rebellion. Which means that in established canon, Cassian Andor wasn't part of the rebellion to restore the Republic, he joined to bring it down. That's because Cassian began the fight at six years old against the Republic that killed his father, the very same regime which transitioned into the Galactic Empire. This would technically make Cassian a double agent, and perhaps that's why they've altered this part of Cassian's origin for the Andor series. Set five years before the events of Rogue One, this new series is set to tell the story of how Cassian Andor was recruited and became a champion of the Rebel Alliance. And I don't think it works to have Cassian fight as part of the Alliance to restore the Republic if his father was hanged by the Republic. What do you think? Do you see sense in changing this part of Cassian's backstory? Do you like it the way it was? Or do you think there's still room to tell the original story of what happened to Cassian's father within the new framework? Hey, if you're just learning about Star Wars Sublight, this is the channel where we like to come out of hyperspace to explore the finer details of a galaxy far, far away. If that sounds like something you need more of in your life, then why not subscribe to the channel to see more videos as they come out? Either way, if you're joining us for the long haul or just taking a pit stop, just know I appreciate you for coming out of hyperspace to gain another perspective. And remember, the Force will be with you, always.